Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really quickly before I begin this tutorial, I wanted to do a little plug. As many of you know, I live in California and we have been plagued with awful wildfires in the past few years and especially in the past week. There has been a lot of scary stuff going on, a lot of destruction, and I just wanted to take a second to let you guys know that I have linked down below a New York Times article and a few places um, if you want to donate to firefighters, if you want to help in this effort to rebuild the towns that were nearly completely destroyed, um, go check out that article down below. I will remind you again at the end of the video. Even a dollar can make a huge difference and I think over and over again I've read that yes it's wonderful to donate supplies if you can, um, but it's also wonderful to donate money especially to accredited organizations um, and I think this New York Times article will help you decide which ones to actually donate to because I know it can be tricky to figure that out. So yeah, go check out that article and then I've linked down below all of the places that they recommend in case you just want to make a quick jump and choose one of those. Of course, thank you in advance for all your donations. I'm so lucky that my family and myself are far out of harm's way. Our town was not affected at all, but we did have very smoky days and the fact that we're so far from the fires and we felt the smoke and it's felt like nighttime at three o'clock because of the smoke has just been a really humbling experience and I just, my heart goes out to everyone who's been affected by this fire and yeah, let's just all keep everyone in our prayers and our thoughts and thank you so much in advance for considering a donation. Okay, now that that's all over, I'm very excited for today's video. I asked you guys whether you wanted to see a review or a makeup tutorial. Overwhelmingly, it was a makeup tutorial and this is one that I'm very excited about so thank you to everyone who suggested it. I got a few suggestions for it and I knew that I wanted to do this one when people suggested it and it is a glass skin tutorial so if you're not familiar with this trend it is a Korean beauty trend that has sort of made its way into mainstream very briefly the whole idea behind it is just gorgeous luminous almost like wet glass looking skin so it's a lot about the skin it's not supposed to look heavy at all it's supposed to be very natural it's just supposed to be luminous and those two things natural and luminous you guys if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that's right up my alley so I'm sure that it makes a lot of sense of why I was excited to do this video I'm definitely someone who likes to add a lot of dewiness to my skin and I like my skin to look very natural so I'm excited to be showing you guys this trend but using all non toxic products I will link down below an article about the glass skin trend in case you want some more information about it but because I know this is going to be a long video for me makeup tutorials always are I'm just gonna hop right in so before I was on camera I did a little bit of skincare prep. The K Beauty trend is definitely all about skincare and prepping your skin. So I used the Suki Exfoliating Foam Cleanser. This is great to get off little bits of dry skin. And then I just put on top my Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Really enjoying this product. I'll talk more about it. I know a few of you wanted to see a review on Drunk Elephant products. I'm still testing them all out, but I will let you know as soon as I'm done. This is definitely one that I will be repurchasing though, just a little spoiler alert. Now you can spend more time on your skin if you want to, although I am gonna do like the cheating way and just use products to make my skin look good. I know a lot of people will use a jade roller, give yourself a little facial massage, and that's wonderful if you have time. If you don't, just continue watching. So the first thing I'm gonna actually do is go in with a tiny bit of highlighter in just some of the high point areas that I really want to appear dewy and wet. So I'm using this Venus Organics Diamond Glow Skin Illuminator in First Christmas. This was my favorite out of um, the colors that I received. So I'm just putting this, as you can see, it's very <laughs> highlighty. So I'm just putting this on my cheekbones and I'm sort of doing a broad sweep of it because we're gonna put foundation over the top but I do want to start getting that highlight going. I kind of feel like if you have great skin and you want to achieve the glass skin look, then literally this is the only product you need. <laughs> you can see it's super highlighting. And I'm just placing that, like I said, on the tops of my cheekbones. I am going to put a tiny bit on the bridge of my nose. A little goes a long way with this product, so just use it sparingly. A little bit on my chin, and then right in 
the center. So you can see I'm starting to get that glow going on. Now because this is all about natural looking healthy skin, I'm going to be using a high coverage foundation, but I'm going to be mixing it with an oil product to make it a little bit thinner and a little bit more natural. And so those two products are both from Gressa. I'm going to be using the Gressa Nourish Purifying Oil and mixing that with um, my Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. Now I have it in the shade 1.5. It is a little bit light for me. I still haven't quite figured out what shade I Am, but I'm gonna be using it anyway. And I think I'm gonna do about a half a drop of each product in the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use a brush to mix them together. So as you can see, I just have the tiniest little dot. This foundation is super pigmented. So I'm doing equal parts oil and um, foundation. I'm gonna take the brush that I find works very well with Gressa, and I'm just gonna mix those two together and start in the center of my face. and really concentrate it in the areas where I need coverage and then thin it out in the areas that I don't need coverage. So for me, I'm really concentrating it around like this area and then it'll probably go onto my cheeks. But as you can see, if you've watched my Grasha video, thinning it out with an oil really makes a world of difference if you don't want full, full coverage. I really think the trick to getting natural looking skin is working in very thin, light layers and just building up areas that you need it in. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. That wasn't quite enough for that area. I think it's really wonderful that you can use this foundation this way because I know for everyone it's, you know, not everyone wants a super full coverage look. I'm putting it, like I said, in the areas that I really need coverage. I'm a little bit spotty right now because I just had my period, so <laughs> great time to do a natural looking makeup, huh? And now I'm just really thinning it out once I get to the outside and buffing it in. Now because this is a little bit light for me, I am going to be taking it underneath my jawline and just down onto my neck. Like I said, this is all about really luminous skin and I really like this trend. I think it's about just like showing off you know, natural skin and how pretty that can look. I am gonna go over my eye area with this because I do get some dark pigmentation sort of in the inner corners of my eye and I wanna make sure everything's very luminous. So you can still see we have that highlight going on underneath that we started with and that's why we actually put down the highlight first. But this is really just mainly about good blending. Okay, I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows out of the way. Again, this is a natural look, so I'm gonna actually make them a little bit, maybe like whimsical is the right word, wispy, is that better? I'm gonna just be brushing them out and then just sort of taming them back down. Usually I would have it like a very strong shape, but I want it a little bit looser because this is supposed to be very natural looking. If you can see, I have like some spikiness going on up here and that's okay. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna conceal under my eyes I'm using the Hint Beauty Duo Concealer. I'm just gonna be using a very little bit of it and I'm just placing it in the darkest areas. We're gonna go in and highlight um, the inner corner. So this is really just concentrating on these like bluer areas to my eye, which I am so blessed to have. And now going in with the tiniest brush possible and this concealer. I'm gonna grab a mirror. I'm gonna do some pinpointing concealing and this is just to get any little spots to really make sure that my skin looks as flawless as possible. Like I said, probably not the best week to choose to do this tutorial because I'm quite spotty, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. I do have some freckles that are showing through, but because I still want my skin to look very natural, I don't wanna cover those up, but certainly if you want a very blank canvas look, then you can go ahead and do some covering with freckles. So on my eyes, I want sort of a pink uh, highlight to that. So I'm going to be using the Vanilla Highlighter and Falling Star from Ari Perez. I think this is going to be beautiful. It's a very strong highlight, a shell color, um, and I'm just going to be using my fingers to really pack it on to my lids. And I'm going all the way up into the crease with this. And I'm going to do something that I don't usually do with a color like this, but I'm going to take a small flat brush. I'm going to go into it and I'm going to place this. I'm getting a smaller mirror. Uh, I'm going to place this at the inner corner but on my lower lash line.
And then of course I'm gonna pack this onto the very inner corner and really make my eyes very luminous. But again, this is still very natural. So um, it is like a shock of highlight, but you don't want anything too sparkly that's gonna look fake. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm gonna apply mascara. I'm gonna make sure that it's not too clumpy, so I might have to run through it with like a clean mascara wand or something like that. Um, just starting at the very base and then just really soft swipes up. And I'm keeping my eyes very round by just pulling the lashes in their natural direction. So I want them to be really feathery. And I am gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line. Again, keeping them from being clumpy. Now heading back to the skin, I am gonna add a little bit of blush. The looks that I've seen don't have a ton of blush, so I'm actually gonna be mixing the Gressa Lumiere in Elise um, with that original highlighter that we have. So I'm just gonna be using a little bit of the pigment of that blush, so very little bit as you can see. That might even be too much. And mix it with a little of this. I just always put everything on the back of my hand and then I mix them. So you get sort of this very sheer fluid color, almost like painting, it's kind of fun. And just starting at the apples of my cheeks and applying really thin layers just to build up this very glass look. So it's very thin sheets of colors that almost look like your skin is transparent. Can you see all that glow? It's like ultra glass skin. <laughs> so I'm really starting with one finger, applying it, and then going in with a cleaner finger and blurring out the edges before adding any more. There's two people having a conversation outside of my house right now, so apologies if you can hear that. But I'm just adding another layer to get a little bit more of a flush. I realize this look isn't going to be for everyone, but you know, you can tone it down and not do quite as much as I'm doing. Or you can do this full-blown glass skin look. As you can see, it's just super subtle, right? So it's supposed to look like a natural flush on your skin. You can see we're starting to get that shine that's building up. When I move my face in the light, you're getting a lot of shine. This is like anyone who loves matte foundations, this is your worst nightmare of a look. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and go around those edges to make sure they're very soft. And everything's blended. Okay, as if we weren't highlighted enough, we are gonna go in with that highlighter one more time, just the pure highlighter, and apply it to the high points of our face, underneath our brow bone, just in the nice C. I don't know if you guys remember when all of those like full face and highlighter videos were really popular, but I feel like this is like <laughs> that video, but trying to bring it back down to something that's actually wearable. Again, just going on the very tops and up on my brow bone. So as you can see, we spent pretty much the entire video on our skin and really all that I have left is my lips. I'm going in with a pink color I'm just going to concentrate in the center of my lip and then use my fingers to kind of blur it out. This is rose water from Kosas. I'm just going over it with that mix that I had made for my um, cheeks. I still have some. So I'm just going over it a little because um, this is not like a glossy lipstick. It's very matte. Or not very matte, but it's matte. And because I think that's a little too frosty, I'm actually going to go over it with a gloss. And I'm going to concentrate the gloss again at the center and onto my cupid's bow. 
All right guys, and there you have the finished glass skin tutorial. As you can see, it doesn't look like I have anything super heavy on my skin. It just looks like I have the most hydrated skin in the entire universe. You also just get this sort of flawless complexion appearance. It's a very youthful look and I think it's a fun look. Uh, certainly, if you wanna tone it down, you don't have to do quite as much highlighting. You can also powder in areas that you don't want to be shiny. I might go in later and just do a little bit of powder around my nose and on my forehead and that way it feels a little bit more wearable for me, or you can just embrace the insane glow that we have on our skin and go for it and just wear it this way. Hopefully the camera is picking up all this highlight. It is a really comfortable look to wear because we worked in such thin layers. As always, all the products will be listed down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave me suggestions for any other makeup tutorials you have. I got a lot of requests for this look and I got a lot of requests for like, do a look that other people in the beauty industry have done before but do it with all non-toxic products. So I'm so happy to continue doing that. If you guys have a look that you've seen on a conventional YouTube channel and you wanna see it here, just let me know. I will try my best. But yeah, I feel like I'm sort of having one of those like best skin day evers right now, which is a great feeling. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I will have donation links for the California fires down below. I um, hope you guys take a chance to check them out or just share them around if you know anyone who's interested in donating. Um, the New York Times article, you can just copy and paste the link and send it out in an email. And yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, California, stay strong. I'm sending so much love out into the universe. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below and I will see you all next week. Bye.